How's it going, guys? I am here in Santa Marta. As you can see, I am currently at the harbor. It is about 1.30 in the afternoon, and I'm just cruising the town on foot right now, just kind of checking it out, seeing what it has to offer. So for those of you that don't know, Santa Marta is known as the gateway to Mica, which is a lost city trek. I don't know if you heard about that, but it also has beautiful beaches and the Tyrona National Park. I think we're gonna end up at these places over the next couple of days. I'm here for the next four days. And, uh, just kind of getting a feel for it, you know? Today is day one here. And uh, so far, it's okay. Honestly, I thought it'd be a little bit better, but here's one of the beaches here in Santa Marta. As you can see, the water is, uh, I mean, it's somewhat clear. It's not the clearest, but at least the beaches are sandy. And it's, it's kind of got a cool vibe to it. Look at everybody in their little canopies over there. Oh, what is it, 20,000 to rent a canopy, I guess? So, you know, it's not too bad. It looks like uh, some people have some money here because look at all these boats. It's pretty cool. You got all the high-rise condos and everything. So I decided to uh, stay out of the area where the Marriott and the Hilton is, which is, I don't know, like 30 minutes back down that way near the airport. Mostly because it's super expensive. And you know, that's where all the tourists are gonna flock. So I decided to come here, the more local area of Santa Marta. And so far, it's okay, you know? I didn't realize like I was right next to like, uh, you know, where they ship stuff in and out. But hey, it's not bad, it's not bad. So we're gonna keep cruising, see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. Maybe have a, uh, maybe have some beers. Who knows? Let's see, let's find out what the hell we want. Maybe some shots. Here's one thing I'm debating on is, like I said in my previous video, I think I might go to the store and just buy like little shot bottles or like a decently big small one that's probably five or six shots because it's so much cheaper, you know? You know what guys, come have a stroll with me. We'll walk a little bit of this so you can see what it's like. As you can see, there's people selling ice cream, there's all kinds of little food stalls and all kinds of stuff over here. I have no idea what she was telling me. Yeah man, even the beach is just okay. I mean, the waves are small, the water is somewhat clean. Until you get over here, I guess, and you see like a bunch of seaweed in there. But look at it, it's it's just okay. Again, not very impressed. That's my honest opinion. Oh, what is this? It's like a little ping pong looking table right here on the beach. I did see down over here that um, it has a place for people to work out for free, which is kind of nice. It's all body weight stuff which is what most beaches offer that's free anyways. Hello. 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 <laughs> I think those are tourists. Oh look, he's still on ice cream. Uh, amigo. Hola. What do you have? Uh, frozen, you Bonai. have... Uh, see? Uh -huh. Get a popsicle, here we go. Ah, uh, mora fresa. Yeah, yummy. Uh, gracias. Do you have change? Ah, yo All right, let's see how much change he gives us back, guys. Oh, seven. Oh, good. I should be getting three, three back. Five, six, seven. All right, let's see. Wow, this is uh, 
pretty good. Super strong, super grapey strawberry flavor, which is good. You know, I don't always like a super strong flavored popsicle, but hey, it's not bad. It's really refreshing in this heat, that's for sure. It's, it's okay, amigo. Right from? Here. Just this. Gracias. No, You're good. Gracias. No, oh, that's cool. They even have like little little weights and stuff on there. Look at that. Get a little workout in. Can you move these around? Not really. Can you take them off? I don't know. But that is cool. Working out with a view like this. What more could you want? Oh, they even have more over here. Already at the port area. Guys, I'm starting to regret booking a hotel here for the next four days. I think I should have just did two days here and then moved closer to the airport where like all the nicer hotels and stuff are over there. Even though there's more tourists, I feel like uh, blow through everything there is to do here in a matter of two days. Los Angeles. Uh, yeah, see. California. Yeah. My friend. How you doing? Uh, I'm from Venezuela. Oh, Venezuela. Nice, see? nice. What's your name? It's Keegan. It's Keegan. Keegan. Hip hop. Oh, nice, man. It's Keegan. You got to cook it. You are the king, you are the boss. <laughs> Share to my friend. All right, man. I'm hungry for family. Oh, really? I'm hungry, my day. Oh. You, ayuda para familia, si puedes. Oh, you, you live in Colombia now? No, Venezolana. Oh. Venezuela. How long you been here? Oh, no. Si, emigramos por Maduro. Oh. You conoce a Maduro? Ah, uh, no. My Espanol, muy poco. President Maduro. Ah, ah. Yeah, see, see. Si. Im immigration, Colombia. Yeah. Yeah, familia, Venezuela? Acá. Oh, familia, here. Guerriano, oh, Guerriano. Aquí. Warrior. Yeah, aquí yeah. Aquí in Colombia. Ah, oh, very nice. Me puedes ayudar. I'm hungry. Ah, oh, you have food. Ah, for Comida. family. Ah. Oh. Mi, uh, credito. I don't carry cash. Very dangerous. I, I, the restaurant. No, I'm not gonna go to ATM. La esquina. Oh, okay, amigo. Bendiciones. Gracias. Okay, guys. As you see, there's people really desperate for money to feed this family. You know, there's, I guarantee you, there is a partial truth to that. But as a tourist, you can't be handing money out to absolutely everybody. It is sad. Everybody has their own heartbreak of a story. But as messed up as this is gonna sound, it's not necessarily your problem, you know? And that sounds really fucked up and, and really horrible, but it is what it is, you know? So don't feel too bad if you can't give away money all the time. I mean, it's not your job. Hola. Okay, well, I don't know if he understood what I was saying. You know what's funny <laughs> is I've had people tell me that you need to put an accent on your Spanish. So when you say words like hola, you should say hola, like with an accent. Isn't that funny? <laughs> I don't think it's true though, you know? Because why would I have to throw an accent on a word? Why not just talk normally? Oh, here's a little uh, convenience store. I wonder if they sell like little bottles of vodka. Uh, maybe, I don't know. All his stuff is all behind the counter. Which is a safe thing to do here. But I like being able to walk into a place and having everything kind of out in the open to where you can like pick it up and look at it and everything. So yeah. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna find 
Oh yeah, guys, I kind of got uh, thrown off my game a little bit. I don't know if you saw those guys, but those dudes look pretty rough, man. Covered in tattoos, like mohawks to the T, you know? <laughs> this is definitely the local part of town, that's for sure. What is this El Stupido Gringo doing here? Filming in my neighborhood. Hey man, I'm just cruising along. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Kitty, 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 kitty. Oh, look at this little cat, dude. Its eyes looked all like swollen shut and everything. Oh, oh wait, 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 hang on. See? <clears throat> Something small, guys. And when I mean small, I mean smaller than this. Oh, that's grande. Grande, too big. Like like this. this. Yeah, pequeña. Yeah, I'm not gonna... <laughs> Dude. That's a big old boy. No? Okay, gracias, amigo. Hey, amigo. Hey, huh. Yeah, like, like this big. Uh, personal. Yeah. Sí. Sí, moment, please. Ya te la okay. All right, we got some great hospitality here. We're running around trying to find me a little bottle of vodka. Look at this street, though. It's all filled with vendors. You can buy sunglasses, and there's food, there's restaurants, there's beer, there's everything here. Oh, that's vodka. Yeah, it's El Mirnoch. Uh, grande though. Uh, si, sí, muy buena. Uh, no, aeroporto. That's why I need. Uh, quiere, you uh, have. Si 100? Uh, 100? Uh, the one, no? La más pequeña. Yeah, pequeña. Uh, Moment. Yeah. For a aeroporto, I cannot. Yeah, see, sí, see. Sí. So we'll see guys. I'm probably gonna buy like a bunch of the little bottles instead of one big one. Cause honestly, I don't think I'll finish that in the next couple of days. So if I have the smaller ones, I can kind of, uh, if I don't finish it, I could take it with me and just throw it in my bag and it'll be no problem. Mama y cuatro. Uh, cuat sí, okay, uh, okay, see. Sí. Mama y cuatro. Uh, Cuánto cuesta? Uh, 20 mil. Want the question? Yeah. 20? Okay. Okay, guys, let's bust out the money. Let's see what we have here. I gave him 20. No, hey, hey. No, I put a backpack. Una, 20 mil. Una, 20, that's 20. Oh, there's some. 20, 80, 80. 80, uh, total, total. Eighty. Let me let me see. Eighty. Eighty thousand. Oh, amigo, that's mucho. Mucho. No, no, no. Ten thousand. Ten thousand. Here. Bueno. I don't want it. Let me see. Come on. Hey, 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 hey. Ten thousand. Hey, ten thousand. Ten thousand. So ten, if you want ten thousand, forty thousand, everything. Forty thousand. Forty thousand? Yes. Oh, why you charge mucho first time? Bueno, <laughs> ten thousand, <laughs> no problem. So if you want to change. Okay. No bolsa. Oh, oh man. See, guys, you got to oh, watch out for that. One thing. Bolsa no. Huh? Bolsa no. Bolsa no. You see, guys, you got to watch out for that, man. Man. <laughs> Okay, he charged mucho, man. Si. Usurero. Cause gringo, that's why. <laughs> Ese usurero. <laughs> ah. uh. See you guys. You gotta pay attention with that, man. All right, let's go ahead and throw this stuff in the backpack. Uh, amigo. Ahora si. uh, is, you said ten. Ten? Si. Ya. Ya, ya. A ten. Son. 40. Ten, uh, 10 each? Is that is that right? 10,000 each? Si. Sí. 10,000. You see? Si. Sí. 
Sí, ya son 40. ¿Cuánto es 40? En inglés, 40. Ok, let me, let me see. Oh, I want to I wanna see exactly how much that is. 40, 8, 50 for those. And so it's a little, it's a, huh? it's a little mucho. Okay. 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 I know. It's still a bit. Kind of, kind of mucho, Gabi, Gabi. <laughs> but it is what it oh, is. Oh, buena. Yeah, yeah. So, fina, fina. So, guys, if you if you come here, if you come in this area, be careful, man. Those little bottles of vodka I bought are definitely not that much. Seventeen dollars for, you know, just a little bottle. I still even overpaid. I paid, uh, what was it, forty thousand, which is almost ten dollars. That's still a lot, a lot. So I think what I'm gonna do is, uh, hang on, let me buckle this shit. That way no one can steal my shit. So I have the vodka. I have like four little shots that I completely overpaid for. I don't know, you guys let me know in the comments if I overpaid for that. So it was 40,000. Colombian, what is it, peso here? I don't, I don't remember. But uh, yeah, I definitely feel like I got ripped off, especially after the first time he tried to sell me it. He tried to charge me way too much, dude, way too much, 80,000, man. <laughs> and then boom, the price got cut directly in half. So now I'm kind of curious, if I go to like an actual brick and mortar store and try to purchase like a little bottle of vodka, to see how much it costs. Because they don't kind of know the real price because they ring you up and boom, it pops up on the screen. They can't really uh, fuck with you that way. 